Hey everyone, it's Janet here today. I hope you guys are doing well. So today's video is a little bit different than most of my tutorials. I wanted to change it up a little bit and add in some fun, lighthearted commentary um, about politician um, and men's suit style. And the reason why was because yesterday in the mail, I got something very, very exciting. As you guys know, may or may not know, I live in the great state of California, the golden state of California, and we're having a governor's recall election. So the governor is getting recalled and there's, I think about 13 or 14 candidates um, on the Republican side that are, um, uh, that have filed for their candidacy and I just thought I'd just go through each one of them um, I've been to some of the events uh, just out of curiosity and I just thought it'd be fun to kind of um, look at their style and give some feedback and give some commentary at the same time and uh, tell you a little bit about what I think it says to me um, from, an, from a style perspective and just what it could be improved. So. Uh, the official date is September 14th, so I just thought I'd start with the um, the Kevins um, because I thought that was really funny that there are three Kevins on the recall ballot um, that I filed. For. There are three candidates that are filing for um, there are three candidates that are filing that filed their candidacy for the recall to run for governor in the election. So oh, I thought I'd start with the first Kevin, one of the more uh, famous Kevin's um, filing, who filed for candidacy in the recall election is Kevin Pafroth. If you guys don't know, he's a very famous YouTuber in real estate. And I just, um, I'm just gonna go through some of his, um, you know, styles, some of his suits that he's worn in different photos and just kind of give you my perspective and tell you what I thought worked and didn't work if it didn't work. So uh, this is uh, the first one. It's one that you see very com very often on his website. Um, I thought this was a great photo, a great style. And I think it's because he's running on the um, platform of like freedom and bringing back California and ending crime and ending homelessness and all these great initiatives. And so what those themes kind of resonate with like America, what makes America great, you know what I mean? Um, low crime, low poverty, low homelessness. And so I felt like this particular suit that he, he wore in this um, look is really, really um, smart. It's really on point, it really resonates with his message of being red, of being um, freedom and liberty and bringing back um, what makes America great in California again, because we're going through a lot of, you know, uh, challenges right now. So it made me, uh, if you can't see, but he's wearing this red, white, and blue suit. So it's very Americana, very um, appropriate for the platform that he's running on. And I think what I liked about it that was he chose a, um, not a really dark navy suit, but a lighter blue. And I've, you, you might have seen this in my other tutorial as well. And this is a great, um, choice of blue because it resonates with like Americana and like the blue collar um, type without being, um, I think if he had chosen like a darker navy blue, it would have seemed too strong and too uh, stodgy. And so this is very appropriate for someone his age. He's like in his late 20s, late 29s, real estate investor, um, YouTube star. It's very, very, you know, well done suit, um, especially with the shiny red tie. You can't really go wrong more. You can't really go wrong with a shiny red tie on a platform of, you know, making California great again. So thumbs up on this one. Um, very much thumbs up. So I'm going to go on to the next look of his that I thought was really, really interesting and really well done. Um, so this is um, the second look and uh, I pulled from one of his YouTube interviews. And what I really liked about it was that he had, he's wearing a, a utility jacket, a dark green. It's always better to like do, um, not for, for a guy, um, for a politician, um, a politician candidate for a politician candidate to always go with more darker conservative colors versus like bright and pink. This is not about like, you know, being on the red carpet and showing off like your fun side. This is more about showing off and showing off your skill sets and what you can do for the people and your platform. So I thought this was really well done. This um, look was really well done. This is a, like, it looked like a green or dark green or like maybe a black or gray 
utility jacket and he wears a white button up shirt, which is smart, it's very simple. And he wears a purple, um, a shiny purple sort of printed tie, maybe it's polka dots or something, I can't quite tell. But I thought this was really well done. He's, you know, um, it's simple, it's to the point, but it has a little bit of pizzazz, a little bit of fun with the color tie. So I just thought this was uh, really well done for his other, for some of his other like um, interview looks. So this was look number two that I thought was really, really well done. So now um, I'm looking at another photo that's on his website for his candidacy for California governor. So, I thought this was a really, really great look for him. Again, he's 29, he's in his late, again, he's in his late 20s, and so he doesn't wanna look, you know, you kinda have to dress for the for the part. You have to dress for the role and dress appropriately for your age. You don't wanna look too old and you don't wanna look too young. So this is really well done. He, again, uses, you know, a lighter navy um, suit color, and he uses another printed, like, teal blue tie with a white shirt. It's really, really well done. It's sharp, it's polished, it's, um, it's it catches your eye because it's not like the dark traditional um, politician's navy suit. So I think he's he's doing really, really well, just doing really well for his age and his platform. He's really trying to show that he's, you know, different and he's young, he's got a lot of energy and you can see that it, cap it comes through a lot in the way he styles himself for his um, videos or his press looks. So that was um, another look. So I'm gonna go on to look number four. This was an earlier um, photo of him when he was a real estate agent. Um, I am not a huge fan of it. I thought the black was just a little too, I know he's a real estate agent, he's trying to go for the conservative look, but I thought this really didn't capture him very well. He did, the tie is great, the red polka dot tie is great but I didn't really like the black one. So this one wasn't a really, um, so this one was kind of a bit of a mess, but this one's not really, um, this was just a, an old real estate photo. I'm trying to give you like a good snapshot of all the different looks that he's had. This is another one. This is one of my favorites, actually. This is one of my favorite suits that he's done. Um, again, he does the red, white, and blue. He does another lighter shade of blue. It's really sharp, it's shiny, it's bright, it's engaging, and then the red tie just, it, again, it's a lot of consistency in his, um, recall candidacy photos um, because it speaks to the platform of being um, youthful and energetic and new ideas and new energy and vibrant. It also speaks to the platform he's speaking on too. And I think that's really important with your style is that, you know, uh, for, especially in a very important role like governor, you wanna be able to dress for the role that you're, um, you're going for. And so he does this really, really well because he's young and he's, you know, got a lot of enthusiasm. And so as a, you know, as a candidate for governor, you're, spe you're, you're, you're spearheading and you're leading the state's initiatives and setting the tone for a lot of different platforms and ideas and campaigns. So you really, I think he does a really fantastic job in this um, look. It just really resonates with um, the ideas he's putting out there. And I pulled, this is the last one I'm pulling. Um, I like this one a lot. This is, um, this is not one of his press photos, but it's something that I found while searching online. You notice the consistency. He wears a lot of really um, bright, um, fun ties. Like he does red, he does red polka dots, or this one's maybe a green polka dot or um, green dotted tie. It's really, really well done with the green suits, very complimentary. I don't know if this was St. Patrick's Day, but again, and he's got the American flag behind him. So again, it's very consistent and speaks to, you know, who he is. He's young, he's energetic, he's vibrant, and he's like full of new ideas and ready to take charge and lead the state into a new direction and change things up. It's been kind of um, dismal, you know, the last few years. So I um, will have to say that he does a really good job of dressing. I will have to say that he does a really fantastic job of dressing for his age and for his platform. And there's a lot of consistency in his style. It's very youthful, it's very energetic, it's bright, it's 
he's got a lot of pizzazz. So I will say that he does a, um, I'm gonna give him a big thumbs up because he um, does a really a great job um, overall of trying to convey who he is through his style as a recall, as a um, candidacy for governor. So I hope you guys liked this video. Um, it was a little long and if you guys liked it, hit me up in the comments and let me know what you guys think about um, the kind of suits that he's wearing and his style. And uh, subscribe and hit the like button. All right, I'll talk to you guys soon.